So this is a cute little problem you're going to see from time to time where you have a logarithm in an exponent and it's saying, what is x? In other words, evaluate this thing where you have 7 to the power of log base 7 of 8. And the way we do this is by a little variable substitution. And what I mean by that is I'm going to say, take this logarithm thing that we see here and we're going to just call that a. Okay, a equals log base 7 of 8. Okay, there's no such, nothing special about a, it's just another variable. And then, if you make that substitution, you can see that this is going to just be x equals 7 to the a, right? So hold on to that, and take a look at this equation that we just made over here. Turn it into exponential form. We get 7 to the a equals 8. Okay, right? That's this base raised to an exponent equals the argument. Well, 7 to the a equals 8. Look over here. We have 7 to the a equals x. So these are equal to each other meaning the answer to this is 8. And that's not a coincidence, right? This is the argument right here, and that's always going to be the case. The reason why this works out is because logarithms and exponentials are inverses of each other. So if I want to make a general formula, you can use this all the time, b to the power of the log base b of a equals a. That will always be true. And there's another version of this. Instead of putting a logarithm in an exponent, the other version is you put an exponent in a logarithm. And that would look sort of like this. Uh, you start with a logarithm. And in here, we're going to have b to the c. Okay, And the base is b, and the exponent is c. That will always be the case. And if you try to turn what I just wrote here into an exponential equation, you'll see that's true. b raised to the c power is b to the c power. So these are two principles that you can always use. Uh...